Thunder return home after almost two weeks and pick up a win against the Brooklyn Nets, 108 to 96. Russell Westbrook and Paul George have returned back to familiar form, finally uh, combining for 56 points. We actually got a chance to talk to Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and Erlens Noel about tonight's win. Able to turn things around. How do you guys do it? Time and time again. It's pure resilience. Resiliency. Yeah. You know, this group is built up with a lot of guys that you know, have been in this situation before. And, you know, we trust each other. You know, that's a big part about it. You know, if we you know, kick it the next man, you know, the next man in line, you know, we'll be ready, you know, once they check in or, you know, if you pass to the guy, you, you know, believe you don't knock down a shot confidently or shoot a confidently. So it's contagious. They threw a lot of different looks at you guys defensively. How did you guys specifically attack that in the second half? Uh, this is you know, game pretty aggressive. You know, pretty smart. You know. You know, just the little things that we needed to make a difference in the pick and roll. Um, you know, being up, communicating, you know, is going to make the world of a difference, especially with a team like that, you know, when, you know, the talent is there for us and we just need to, you know, put it forth to win a game like that. Anything else? Thanks, Nolan. Thanks, Nobody want to move? Cool. Staff, I'll go please. home. Back up staff. There you go. Everybody move. There you go. There you go. Keep your space. <laughs> uh, you scored four points in the last six seconds of the second quarter. I'm just curious what you thought the significance of that sequence was. Uh, I thought it was big. Uh, there was momentum going to the half. Got a steal. Um, big time play. Uh, steal by Ferg and uh, close the half the right way. You really were able to pick apart their zone and man-to-man -man in the second half. Will you kind of explain what you were able to do in against both of those defenses to get your team good shots? Uh, just try to stay in attack, uh, attack mode and find uh, ways to continue to give my team a shot. I thought I did a bad job in the first half of not uh, finding my guys. And um, second half, I made an adjustment and trying to do that. Russell, what's been key for you all um, defensively in these past two games? I think that was the first time you all felt back-to-back uh, -back opponents under 100 and probably since November. Uh, we, we lean on our defense, like I said, all year long. Take pride in it. Um, sorry with myself, uh, continue to take pride in defending your position, defending, helping a teammate out, doing what you got to do uh, defensively to be the best uh, we can be. What opened up that lob uh, for Steven in the second half for you guys? Uh, just spacing. Russell, the way the last few days have gone and some of the, the situation at hand, you're out on the court, you're, you're shimmy in there at half court, you get big shots. Was, was it good to kind of uh, I'm extremely blessed, man. Humble uh, to go out and hoop. And that's that. We haven't had a chance to talk to you since the, it was announced that the Jazz banned You want to talk about tonight's game? We could do it. If not, enjoy your night. Russell, you guys flipped the script in the second half offensively and played defense for four consecutive quarters. Just how important is it going forward to play a half like that? Just yeah, it. Uh, it's very important. Anyone else? Thanks, Russ. Thanks, Russ. Paul, particularly in that second half, you were really active in the middle of their zone defense. I'm just curious between that and some of the other cutting that you guys were able to do, how were you able to kind of bust them out of that? Um, <clears throat> I mean, that's just how you attack a zone, try to get to the middle of it, try to get to the paint. Um, we was able to do that. Um, but it's it's something that you don't see often, so um, you know we cut us off guard for a second, but you know, we figured it out. Did you feel like that that sequence at the end of the first half? I think you had four points in six seconds. Was that meaningful, impactful in any way? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I think it um, kind of jump started us, gave us that momentum going into the uh, second half. Um, and as you saw, I mean, we opened up the third quarter, um, and uh, you know, really took the game away, took the game over at that point. Quarter, and then again in the fourth, Russ has these strings of three assists in a row. What does that do for you guys when he starts finding guys really consistently back-to-back -back possessions? Um, I mean, that's just what Russ do. Russ is a uh, playmaker. Russ creates opportunities, um, and he just makes the game easy for uh, you know everybody else around him. So um, I think that's just Russ being in his element. Paul, so, you, your, your offense is. You know, Efficiency-wise, since the All-Star break hasn't been where it was before, but it seems like defensively you've still been able to have an impact. I mean, how do you feel about how you're playing defensively 
and how the injury you've gone through has affected your defensive play? Um, I mean, I've had an injury to my shoulder. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but, you know, that's not going to stop me from trying to help the team win and, and you know, doing whatever I can. Uh, my legs are perfectly fine. Um, so, you know, the shooting part, it is what it is. I'll get through it. Um, and the trainers here get me through it. Um, everything else, you know, I'm going to still be consistent on. Do you, when you first had the issue with your shoulder, it seemed like you were taping and icing the right shoulder. And then tonight, it looked like you were icing and taping the left shoulder. Has something changed uh, in the, in recently in regards to that? You observe, huh? <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I took a, another hit uh, this time on my left side and it kind of messed things up a little bit. But, um, you know, if, it's, if it ain't broke, you know, I'm going to be out there playing. Um, it's nothing that's that serious. It's just, you know, it's a bruising. So, um, you know, just being cautious. But it's nothing that's, that I'm concerned about. The defense did seem pretty constant throughout the night tonight. Was there anything in particular you felt like you guys did at a high level against what they were trying to do? <clears throat> Um, you know, it's once we get the pick and roll defense down, that's what every team is going to throw at us. Uh, see how well we can scramble around, test our, our pick and roll defense. Um, that's just the key. If we get the pick and roll defense down, we're going to smother teams. If we don't, um, you know, they're they going to have their way with us. Can you, talk, can you talk about that moment you shared with the end of Russell after the game? He said you both had the same age, and I didn't know that, but... Uh, just talk about that mutual respect you both have. Yeah, I mean, D'Angelo's been uh, a little bro um, ever since he came into the league. Um, you know, we share the same major, so um, I've tried to mentor him through a lot of, you know, his moments. Um, and, you know, I, I just told him, you know, that from here on, uh, down this stretch, you know, they're in the playoff spot right now. Um, just told him, I mean, this is really where you make your name, and, and you know, this is where you solidify yourself. Uh, playing at the high level, playing on a big stage, um, you know, just preparing them for what's to come. Thank you, PG. Appreciate Thanks, Paul. it. All right, we're rolling. George and Westbrook combined for 21 of 41 shooting, over 50%, and Westbrook picked up his 26th triple-double of the season with 12 rebounds and 11 assists to go with his 31 points. The Thunder will be back inside the Chesapeake Energy Arena on Saturday night to face the Golden State Warriors. We'll see if Kevin Durant will play, but it will be an entertaining game regardless. Until then, I'm Adam Francisco with InsideThunder.com. Please be sure to check the website for all Thunder updates.